Good morning everyone. It's Sunday the 11th of August. Welcome to another one of Alan's angling adventures. Back up the River Ader again today and today I'm at Betley Bridge. Uh, I'm in the swim where I caught those two bream from on the first session of the new season. I'm back here again today. The conditions, water conditions, are very very good indeed. The colour of the water is just how I like it. It's a really nice colour. Um, but it's going to be extremely hot today. Uh, time wise, it's 10 past 9 just gone. I got here at, what time did I get here? About 20 past 8, 25 past 8. Uh, just been setting up, I'm all ready to go. And today I'm going to be on the stick float today. Um, well, at least for a few hours anyway, while I can, while the conditions allow me to. Uh, and then after that, I may well change to a feeder. I've got a feeder rod set up here as well. We'll see how it goes anyway. Uh, I'm probably going to be here till around two o'clock today, so it's not going to be for me uh, a you know really long session, but long enough anyway in this heat because you know I think later on I think you could struggle for bites later on. It's, oh, it's, it's going to be extremely hot. So anyway, we're on the stick float today, and uh, those of you that watch my videos will know I had a dabble on the stick float uh, on one of my videos last season up at uh, Stretton. And I was doing all right, you know, I had a few fish, not many, but a few, but I could only fish for about an hour, hour and a half because the tide messed it up and I couldn't fish anymore. So I've been wanting to have a go again for quite a while now. So I thought today I'll give it a go, see how we get on anyway. Um, well that day I used a Drake float, but this time I've got a different float and I'll show you the setup. Uh, I've got a longer rod today because I think a longer rod is what I need, give it a bit more control. I've got a 12 foot Shakespeare Mustang match rod, which is this. Um, basically, this is the one I used at Passy's Pond actually. Caught me a lot of fish that day as well. But that's what I've got anyway. A uh, 12 foot Shakespeare match rod Mustang. Now I've got six pound mainline there, Matrix. I've got, now what have I got here? I've got, right, so I've got a different stick float today. That, that day I used a 3.2 gram Drake float. This time I've got, hang on a minute, get sorted out. There we go. This time I've got a Drennan 1.25 gram alloy stick float, which is there. And I've got a rubber band at the top, a rubber band there, halfway down, and another one at the bottom. So I've got three, three rubber bands there. And then down from there, I've got an Olivet, which is what I used last time. I quite like them, I really do. Uh, a gripper stop there, an Olivet there, which is also 1.25. And another gripper stop there. I can open that out if I need to, but not really any need to. Then I've got a little size 20, a very, very tiny size 20 matrix swivel. Now on that swivel, there is a little rubber stop. Um, I don't know whether the camera's picking it up, but there is one there. And if I pull that off, I don't really want to do it now because I've got it all set up. But if I pull that rubber stand, rubber sleeve off of there it re it will reveal hang on let's see there we go it'll reveal a little hook now i'll put my hook length over that hook over that hook now oh, it's come off i knew it would right hang on a minute right i had to go and get my glasses yeah the uh the hook length came off the little hook there's a little there's a little hook inside there and I'll just pull the rubber sleeve over it like that and that's what you've got and then I've got a little size uh, six no size four shot there just to make sure that's kept down and then I've got the, a short pretty short hook length of about five inches to a size 14 barbless hook so that's what it is I'll cut a bit of that line off in a minute that's hanging over, like that, 
like that. There we go. And that's it basically. Um, I've plumbed the depth, fishing on the bottom, just about on the bottom. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. Some anything today, bait wise. I've got hemp, no ground bait today. I've got where are we? I've got a pint of red maggots there and a pint of white maggots here and also just a few worms in case I need it and I've got a small tin of corn there as well so hopefully we can catch a few fish and see how it goes anyway so uh, I'll see you down there in a minute when I'm ready to start fishing I'd also just like to quickly say I've just seen uh, well, when I came up there's a couple of young kids fishing down there which I was surprised you don't first time I've seen anybody fish down there actually over the other side of the bank and uh, I just met Andrew who watches my videos he's come up there fishing he's fishing a bit further up I hope he catches good luck to him um, nice to see him you know because he uh, so he watches my videos and comments sometimes so that's uh, nice to see so uh, yeah, he's fishing a little bit further up from me so it makes a change to have somebody else up there fishing with you or near you anyway and I should probably pop up there later on and see how he's getting on but anyway I would like to just say very quickly thank you to all of you that subscribe to my fishing channel and put comments on there uh, you know and give me tips and uh, you know a few places you know tell me a few places that are good to fish and stuff like that very much appreciated because uh, you know you're learning all the time uh, and uh, it's very useful thank you very much for that right let's uh, let's get fishing shall we Right, this is what we've got. Now this, as I said, this is the swim I fished when I fished the first session of the noose of this season, when I had those two bream on the feeder. Um, well, I actually, I actually fished just there. I'm just a few feet up from that because I want to get a nice run on this float. Uh, I'm just going to be fishing halfway out and just letting it run down because I've got the tide just right. And I'm, I am actually wasting time here really because I've got a nice flow out there and the tide is just perfect. Uh, it was high tide about an hour and a half ago and it's just running down nicely now. It's, this is the right time to start fishing it here now. So I don't really want to waste too much more time. It's just gone 20 past nine. And so you've got that up there. And I should just cast about halfway out just feeding maggots and hemp every so often no ground bait today and just letting it run down and hopefully we can catch a few fish anything today you know I'll be grateful for a silver fish session if I pick anything else up in the in the you know while I'm at it then great but that's what I'm basically fishing for today see how many fish we can catch and what we can catch on the stick float right let's go right let's kick off on it couple of red maggots and we'll see how it goes. one. Of course it, it feels different on this. <laughs> there we go. No. There we go. There we go. Oh right okay we're off the mark. That's good. On about the second cast. What have we got? 
Oh, it's a nice roach. Let's kick off. Here we are. So a good start. That's on double red maggot. Great stuff. Not a bad one. So the secret with this, I think, is is the feeding. You've got to keep got to keep feeding. Always nice to get that first fish. As I say, I've um, I'm very inexperienced at this, so. You'll have to bear with me on it. The stick float fishing, I'm not... Uh, I really fancied it today, fancied having a go at it. And I knew the tide conditions were just right for it, so... monster but that's all right that's good it's another roach yeah and so see how many we can we can muster so a couple of roach up to milk Out there. Yeah, it's ten past ten now. I'm probably going to be probably not going to be a too long a session today in this heat. Probably around two half two. Corn. Yeah, I really enjoyed my session at Sakem last time. Most enjoyable session that up there, Lo lovely part of the river to fish, really is, you know, I will go up there again. I'd like to thank the people for the comments that they leave, you know, underneath the video, most welcome. You know, any, any tips and, you know, any information on different swims and that, 
where you catch fish yourself is most welcome. Thanks for, for that because, uh, as I say, you turn up at these places, well, I do anyway, and I, I don't really know, you know, the best spots to fish and that. And Well, I suppose with the river it, it differs every time you come up here, really. But it's always nice to hear from other anglers, you know, what they're catching and where they are. I'm not going to be here too long today because of the uh, heat it's starting to build up now. I wish I bought some ground bait with me actually, but. I haven't got any, so I have to make do with the maggot feeder. Strange sort of bite, really. It was sort of a bit of a pull, actually. It didn't look, didn't look roaching. Get one or two bites. Heat on my back, blimey. Yeah, definitely need something there. There now. Yeah. I've got a bunch of worms on there now. I haven't got many worms with me to be honest. <coughs> I just brought a few along. I've got a bunch of worms on there now with a caster. I wonder if there's any of those bream out there today. I haven't seen any sign of any fish feeding today. Nearly 20 to 11 now. I just had a cracking bite. Really was a nice bite. Uh, wasn't on there. I've got it now right in the same spot. I'm fishing now in the same area as I had those bream from, which is a bit further down to the, on the far side on that bend. So I don't know what it was, but it looked a decent bite. I'm not getting loads of bites at all, far from it. Very few actually.
turned to 11 now. Well, it's just gone 11 o'clock and I have to say it's very hard going. Very, very few bites. Very few and far between. It's not easy at all. And of course that heat's really getting to work. Like it could be a struggle today up here. I mean, I could change the waggler, but so this for me is not going to be a long session today. So I suppose I could set it up. few more bites though than what I'm getting. Well, real struggle here at the moment. I say I'm changing between the feeder and the on the float but not many bites. Just had a nice chat with Andrew who's just come down. Really really nice bloke. Had a bit of a chat with him. He's the same. He's just had a few roach and a few rud, nothing else. I think this heat is killing any chance of many fish today. Precious today, and I don't want to lose them, so I'm going to use the oh, what is it? I think it's a nice rad. Is it a rad? Nice one. Yes, oh, I'm so grateful for this, I tell you, because this has been a real struggle so far. Yeah, nice rod. Best fish of the session so far. Keep still, fella, because I don't want to lose you. That's a lovely fish. A lovely rod. That's on the stick float. Right, okay. Let's uh, let's keep going on this then, because um, that's a nice rod. So up to now, we've had, I don't know, we've had a couple of rod, Two or three rod and a couple of roach. Some of them on the stick float, some of them a couple on the maggot feeder. There we are. Nice fish. Right. Right, there's a bit of hope there now. Let's get some more maggots out there. Keep feeding it. was on single caster that was. Well, I think it's going to be a bits and pieces session today. There we are. Starting to get 
one or two more bites now. Another one. Oh, oh. me. There we go. Little dice. Yeah. Another rod. Still, mate. Here we are. There we go. Really pleased to catch these, I tell you. Right. I so say we're not getting bites every cast, but. We are, we are getting some bites. I'm continually putting feeding with maggots and hemp down that same line, but down the centre, down the centre. Um, just letting the, basically just letting the uh, float go where it wants to. So we're catching a few, few fish. Last, I've got them feeding out there. Starting to catch oh, a few more now. There we are, mate. And this is all on the stick float now. I've discarded the maggot feeder rod. So, a summary you know, I've been fishing the feeder, the uh, maggot feeder, and stick float and uh, I've caught a few roach and a few rud on both but most of them are coming on the on the stick float which I'm pleased to say because as I say when I come here this morning that's what I really wanted to do Really lovely, lovely day up here now at, here at Betley Bridge. Warm, but uh, it's actually better when that sun goes in. Well, I don't know what that was, but something really big uh, jumped out just to my right hand side, a bit further up, where you've got a load of overhanging bushes. My God, it would it. Right splosh. Yeah. It wasn't you mate, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, so right uh, right splosh in the water that was. Don't know what it was. The 
guess I'm still getting, at least I'm catching some fish. certainly going to give it a go a bit further up possibly on the next one we'll see yeah still getting a few bites um, Not a lot, but uh, I'm getting a few. You get the idea, you know, of what's going on here, you know. It's great fun catching them on this stick float, it really is. Landing net really for this size. It's, uh, so I'm most uh, grateful to these. There we go. Starting to pick up a few more now. Right, what I think I'm going to do, it's 20 past 12. I think I'm going to switch to the maggot feeder again because I've seen some signs of fish of bubbles out there so there could be some bream about so hey that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna switch to the feeder there we go mate there we go yeah there's definitely bubbles out there so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna switch to the feeder now for half an hour because there's definitely signs of some bream out there, looks it to me anyway, right out in front of me. So let's put that down there for a minute and let's get the feeder rod. This is a bit of a chop and change session today. This might not yield anything because I haven't had many bites on this feeder today. But there's definitely signs of some fish feeding some, uh, looks like bream to me. I'll put a bit of corn on there now. I think I'm going to have a bite to eat in a minute. And uh, I'll leave that out there for 15 minutes or so. 
it's just one grain of corn. Just while I'm seeing signs of fish actually feeding out there, which could be bream. Definitely signs of bubbles. I'll get back to you a bit later. We're back fishing again now. I've just had a bit of dinner. Nearly caught the one. Uh, I'm probably going to pack up about half past one today. This heat really is uh, sapping, I tell you. I've just left the uh, feeder rod out there with a couple of grains of corn on. as a sort of a sleeper rod, really. And I'm back on the stick float again. Yes, to have gone a bit quiet again. There we go. As I speak, <laughs> there you are. If it wasn't for me using this stick float today, I probably would have really struggled to have caught anything at all, really. If there's any fish that I have caught, most of them have come on that. Ooh. It's going over my feeder rod. Oh. Christ. Oh. Bloody hell. Oh. I don't know what this is. It's a tench. Oh. It's a lovely tench as well, if I can get it. Christ. Yes. Yes, I've got it. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh what a bonus this is. What a cracking fish. Oh, flipping hell. Just when I thought the day was a bit of a flipping, you know, not great, but... Oh, flipping brilliant stuff. Oh, it's a cracking tench. Right, okay, I'm going to get myself sorted out here, because I'm over my other rod. I thought I'd just leave it out there for as a sleeper rod with a couple of grains of corn on, and it's taken it. Oh, brilliant stuff. Right, okay, I'll get back to you in a minute when I've unhooked her and sorted myself out. Well, to say I'm over the moon with this is just an understatement. I've just weighed it, and it's, I beat my PB bream on the opening day of the season, and I've just beaten my PB tench, which is originally four pound. This goes four pound 10 ounces. What a cracking river tench this is. Look at this. Oh, what a fish, I tell you, flipping hell. That's probably, in my opinion, I know I had that 12 pound carp. I'm not sure that I'm more delighted with this actually. It's my favorite fish of all and I don't catch many at all. Look at that, what a cracking fish. 
a river tench of £4.10. That's uh, beating my PB by 10 ounces. God, look at that, look. Old red eye, look. What a lovely fish. Beautiful olive green. God, I couldn't believe it, mate. I tell you, I couldn't believe it. Great stuff. God. So a tench of £4.10 here at Betley Bridge. I know Andrew had one up there the other day. He's had a couple up further over the last few days. And I thought, God, I wish I could get one. And I just have. Brilliant. I'm delighted with that. Right, okay, let's get her back. Because in this heat, I don't want to keep her out too long. There we go. God, I can't stop looking at it. Brilliant. Oh, who would have thought that, eh? Unbelievable. Oh, I'm over the moon with that. Really am. That's So, that's the second PB of the season, of the river season for me. Both in the same in the same spot here at Betley Bridge. That bream of £5, which beat my personal best. And now this tench of £4.10. Cool, oh, what a fish. I couldn't believe it when I saw that olive green and sort of yellowy olive green in the water I thought oh my god don't lose this because it went straight for the uh, lily pads in front of me right it's just gone five past one now I'm only going to fish here till half one today because it is hot uh, and I'm really delighted with what I've caught after what's been a scratchy session really you know, starting off on the, you know, bit I've been flittering from the stick float and the maggot feeder. I just decided to stick a couple of grains of corn on um, and just put it out to my left and just leave it there as a sleeper rod while I was catching, you know, roach and rud on, on the stick float. And my God, it's certainly worth having that second rod out sometimes, isn't it? It just shows you. There's certainly our tench up here because I say Andrew's had a couple up there. Not today, well I will go and see him before I go, see how he's got on. Cool, I'm absolutely over the moon with that. That's two PBs now this season. Brilliant stuff. Right, yeah, another just over 20 minutes. Of course, you know, I put up a scrap on this rod, I tell you, I wasn't sure what it was. It was flashing through my mind, is it a bream? You know, is it, I didn't know what it was. A couple of grains of corn, which is what Andrew's had them on up there, on corn, on the feeder. In the middle of a blazing hot day as well. <laughs> Blimey. Well, it's bang on half one now. Just been having a nice long chat with Andrew. He ended up with some roach and rudder up there today. But uh, I think I'm going to pack up now. I've packed my float rod up. Uh, it's getting very hot here now. I think I'm going to pop, pop into the cabin on the way back and have a cup of tea and reflect on that beautiful tench. God, what a lovely fish that was. Well worth coming up there for. Because before that, the session looked very ordinary, really. You know, just catching a few here and there. Just shows you though, done it. If I, did, if I hadn't have put the, this sleeper rod out there, I wouldn't have caught it. It's the only bite I've had on corn. I've had nothing else on corn at all. So the next session now, for me, will won't be uh, I won't be out next week because I'm busy. But um, it'll probably be the week after next, and it will probably be up here, but a different swim, a bit further up. That's the plan anyway. I'll have one more cast and then that's my lot. I'm not expecting to get a second one here, but 
you never know. I'll just leave it there for 10 15 minutes and then I'm packing up. It's really stifling now, it really is hot. That's why I'm, I'm surprised that I had that fish in the middle of this heat like this but there you go you never ever know and that's why I love fishing this river the unexpected you know that's brilliant that's two PB's now this season for me a bream and a tench a bream of five and a tench of 410 I thought when it came out that it, it, it was around four pound it looked it but it was way over four pounds, really. As I say, it went straight for the lily pads in front of me. It was getting in them lily pads. And for a second I thought, oh God, I, yeah, I'm not going to get this out, but I did. So I've got six pound main line and a five pound fluorocarbon hook limp. It held out all right. It's a great feeling on this rod though. I know it's only a little rod, it's only a, it's, it's an eight foot rod, but when you do get something like that on it, it the feeling is, is unbelievable on it. When I first struck into it, I actually thought, in my head, I thought it was uh, possibly a decent rod, you know. But as I was playing it more and more, I could feel it was going more and more for the bottom. I knew then it was something really decent. So I thought it might have been a bream, but oh, great stuff. Right, yeah. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to start packing up now, and uh, I'll see you again in a minute. Well, it's ten to two now. I've virtually packed up. Just got to put my rods on my bike. Oh, I'm absolutely, I really am. It's it's very, very, very hot, very hot. <sighs> Blimey. Yeah, Andrew's just packed up. He's just gone. He went about half hour ago. As I say, he had some roach and rud. But, uh, and that's what it looked like I was going to be ending up with. Right up until, oh my God, when I had that tench. What a beautiful fish. As I say, you just never know, do you? I only put the rod out there, as I said earlier, as a sleeper rod, just to stick it out there with a couple of grains of corn on. Because um, I had, because I, as I said to you, I did see feeding. I saw bubbles. I thought they might have been bream, but there you go. They were probably tench. But uh, yeah, and it was it paid off. Brilliant stuff. I enjoyed fishing on the stick float. I did enjoy that, and I should do that again. I think that Olivet gives it a good present, good bait presentation as well. It's only my opinion, and I know several other people have said the same. Um, as I say, not only that, but when you want to move move your, your, your olivet up the line and that, or make your trace longer and stuff, it's a lot easier. Uh, it doesn't damage the line when you've got those gripper stops and the olivet in between them. I always find with, with shots, sometimes I squeeze them on too tight, and I, when I go to push them up the line, they're, uh, you know, I can't move them. So that's for me these are, this is a lot easier but uh, as I say I'll only use them occasionally on when I use a stick float which I will definitely do again certainly in the uh, autumn and winter months uh, so that's it then so uh, really what's ended up a brilliant session really um, second PB of the season following up on my PB bream in the same spot uh, on the first first session of this season that five pound bream of course, I had one of four, what was it, four, four ten, I think, something like that. Four ten, four eight, four ten, four ten, I think it was. So I had those two bream then, and th th this tench today, oh, I'm well pleased with it. Really pleased, and what a lovely condition they are in as well. Oh, so smooth, you know, and that beautiful yellowy olive green looking, you know, really, really magic. My favourite coarse fish of them all, the tench especially the river tench. Right, anyway, that's enough of that. Now, <laughs> um, I'll be out again, not next week, but possibly the week after. I'll see how it goes, see what the weather's like. Uh, and I'll show, whatever happens, I should definitely be up here on the next on the next session. 
but it'll be, I'm going to have a go further up. Uh, there's a couple of swims a bit further up that I think are worth investigating. So um, I'll be up there on the next one. Um, uh, yeah, so that's it. So I've very, you know, very much enjoyed the session today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I've certainly enjoyed fishing up here, although I must admit I'm struggling a bit now. Really is hot. Um, so I'm going to make my way back now and just say thank you very much for watching the video. Uh, thank you for subscribing to my fishing channel. Very much appreciated and all the comments you leave, magic stuff. And, uh, and definitely enjoy your own angling, definitely do that. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye for now.